Good afternoon and welcome everyone. On behalf of the town of Clayton, I wanna thank you for being here today as this is a very special rededication ceremony for our new Veterans Memorial Reflection Wall. Today is kind of an emotional day and it's, it's full of joy, it's full of excitement, and it's full of gratitude. And I know that our veterans and their service to our great country are something that is truly meaningful to this town of Clayton and our community. And now I'd like to call up Mr. Wade Goodrider to give our invocation. Let us pray. Today we remember those who have died for their country in the war and peace. For those we knew and those whose memory we treasure and all who lived and died in service of their country. Let, us memorial, let this memorial represent the sacrifice and hardship as they faded, faced that contribution of America's victories over tyranny, oppression, for God and country. Amen. Would you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Present, hope. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon. My name is Scotty Henley and I work or oversee the operations of the Clayton Center. Thanks to every one of the individuals that came out here tonight or today, I appreciate it. Also, thanks to the Clayton Center folks that I work with for being supportive in this project and helping me along with it. I wanna thank the uh, interim town manager for asking, can you do something with this space? And then let me go. And for the mayor for turning his back and letting me go. And the council as well. So I appreciate that very much. It's a, a bigger honor for me because my mom and my father spent 20 years in the Air Force together. So this means a great deal to me to be able to put this together for everyone that's been a veteran and those who continue to be so. I don't think this gentleman needs much introduction because you've probably all seen and heard him before and it just demonstrated by the way he just called out for that strong voice. I don't think he's gonna need this microphone either. Ladies and gentlemen, Bull Durham. When Scott sent me a text a few weeks back, he shared with me that I'd be following the mayor. And we know what happens when the mayor gets up and speak. He's been uh, doing this for a long time and things just flow out of him. And so then I had to ask the question, Scott, how many minutes are you gonna give me? And he said that you have five minutes. And so immediately my memory went back to DI school in 1985 down at Paris Island. When they taught us and they said that you will get five minutes out of two minutes. So technically, I have 12.5 minutes or 750 seconds. So, but Honorable Mayor Jody McLeod, town council member, those newly elected council members, fellow veterans, family of veterans, 
We thank you for placing this small, short ceremony on your schedule today. Last month, I was honored to introduce the Johnston County J. Now 2021 Veteran of the Year. And I shared with them the perspective of veterans in Johnston County. Currently, we have about 14,000 veterans throughout Johnston County. I told them they would be hard pressed to go one mile and not encounter a veteran. I also said that oftentimes many of our first responders are veterans. But if we had to dissect that 14,000, we may find that the majority live in and around Clayton with Highway 70 and I-40 and I-95 being the major throughway for Fort Bragg, Camp Lejeune, Seymour Johnson, and Cherry Point would suggest that many more are on their way. You see, throughout history, God blessed his people. And when he blessed his people, he told them to make a memorial, to place a rock, a stone, or a tree. Then he said, tell your children and your children's children. So as Johnston County leads our state as the fastest growing county, Throughout our county, veterans and veteran memorials and parks are being erected to allow veterans and their families to purchase a brick. Personally, I love purchasing bricks. I purchased one at Arches Lodge. I purchased one at Four Oaks. And one day, I'll be able to purchase a brick in Clayton. See, the purpose of this, this place this memorial is for family members and veterans of family members to come by and just reflect. Reflect on the service, perhaps their family members or the service that they had done. And the ones who are no longer with us on this side of living. My wife and I, we signed our contract on our home in the town of Clayton in 2006 and moved in permanently in June 2010. And after my transition for nearly 31 years on active duty in the Marine Corps, so when Scott sent the text, I quickly thought about the names of the veterans in and around Clayton, this place, what it represents, that I was allowed to break bread with to talk to, to laugh with. Clayton Knight that I sent and I sat with over the years, the past 11 years. Like Rudolph that originated off this very word, a road that we stand on. Stories where Herman taught at the school that carries the name of this town. Stories when Rudolph told me he delivered the mail throughout Clayton in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And his house still sets on the other end of Fedville Street when he told me that it used to be considered the country. Stories when Sam told me while sitting in the mule barn, he vividly gave an account of the airspace, airspace as he flew in Europe during World War II. Stories told while sitting in Ken Parker's house on 2nd Street, as he navigated through his mind the jungles of Vietnam. This memorial represents the story of Gerard, who left Lombard Street and answered the call similar to Isaiah when he answered the call in chapter 6, who will go for us and whom shall I send? And Gerard said, here I am. Send me. And 16 years ago, while engaging the enemy, Gerard gave the ultimate sacrifice while fighting in Fallujah. So this place, this small place, is to reflect a place where all Clayton residents can come 
and share their respects and thanks to the sacrifices of veterans of Clayton that they have made since Clayton became a town. Sacrifices made on and off the battlefield. Veterans of times past and veterans that still walk amongst us today in our community. So I was excited when I asked to speak for five minutes to publicly say this place, it means something to the families and veterans that call Clayton home. I would never forget Rudolph Allen, Stacy Morgan, Edgar Johnson, Ken Parker, Herman Vinson, Samuel Earl Robinson, and Gerard Jacobs. And I leave you with a thought that came from our president and commander in chief when I was only two years old, when Ronald Reagan wrote, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for those to do the same. For one day, we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was like in these United States where men and women were free. We cannot thank you enough. And if he thinks I am a hard act to follow, thank you. The words inspiring, meaningful storytelling, honoring some of the finest military servants from the town of Clayton. All of them, thank you. So what is a veteran? A veteran, whether active duty, discharged or reserved, is someone who, at one point in his or her life, wrote a blank check payable to the United States of America for an amount up to and including his or her life. We've celebrated our veterans in one form or another in this county for more than 100 years. And with each passing year, we continue to reflect on their service to our country, whether it be a time of peace, a time of war, a time at home or on foreign soil. And that is why we gather here today. That is why we welcome all of you, all of our veterans or warriors who have earned our respect and our admiration. So today we honor our veterans who unselfishly placed their lives on the line for our freedom. Those men and women were ordinary, real, everyday people until they heard the call for duty and answered it. They left their families, they left their homes, they left their lives, not for recognition or fame or even the honor that we kind of bestow upon them today, but they fought to protect our country, to maintain our way of life. Our debt to these heroes can never be repaid, but our gratitude and respect must last forever. We hope the new Veterans Memorial Reflection Wall will serve as a reminder of just how much our veterans mean to the town of Clayton and to this community. Let it be a daily reminder of the bravery and sacrifice shown by our veterans and how they have protected our freedom and the freedom of many future generations. Today I want to thank each of you for being here today to honor our veterans God bless you all, God bless our veterans, and God bless America. Thank you. <laughs>